Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a requested video. Uh, someone requested, and I'm sorry I don't remember who that particular person was, but it was a couple weeks ago. They asked for a kind of first grading period update in my teacher planner and like how I am changing and adapting my planning style in my teacher lesson planner. So this is my Erin Condren teacher lesson planner and I love this thing. This is my like a work planner and it has everything I need and all the space that I need for like keeping my head straight at work. So this cover came from um, the Right Stuff, their website. I don't know if they still have it, but they did this summer. And let's just jump into this. This is going to be a quick video, just a really quick update from kind of a first of the year, kind of in, well, really more like middle of the semester because I didn't get this filmed like I wanted to a couple weeks ago. But you'll get an update of like what I've changed so far and like how I'm adapting my style. So I still have my post-its up here. I said I was going to take them out and I might once it gets a little more fat. They're just so damn convenient to have up here that I can just grab them real fast. These are more sticky than these are. So I tend to use these more. These are the newest version, but they're still both good. And I can just like run a glue stick over these if I want to make it permanent. Um, still not using this at all. I keep meaning to just kind of um, like tape them all these pages together so that I can turn directly to this page. And I need to update September, I forgot to do that. So what I decided to use these pages for, if you didn't see my previous updates, and I'll link all the videos associated with this planner so far in the description if you're curious. But my goal is to um, use standards-based grading at the high school level and to give really specific feedback to my kids in person and through Google Classroom and just within lessons. I just want to give really, really good feedback, really constructive feedback. So I'm kind of keeping track of my progress here. This is not very extensive. This is just a quick snapshot of what I'm doing each month. And I just think this is going to work out really well for me. So we are in October. And I, like I said, I do need to update this. Um, I'll do that after this video. And what I have coming up next are the graph pages I'm using for my seating charts. So I'm not going to show you those because it has like my kids' names on it. I also have a little cheat sheet of some accommodations for my kids. So we're going to go straight to my August. Um, and let's talk about how the first six weeks went. So we go by six weeks, but with our school calendar, the first two six weeks are really five weeks. And I know that's confusing. So I'm just going to call it six weeks. But Here's how the August um, spread came out. I like this a lot. I can look back and see what we did. And then let's go into kind of, you've already seen this before, but these are the pages before the um, first of the year. And then this was the first week of school. And it looks really blankish. I just filled it a lot with stickers. I used some Happy Planner stickers, but this was a really, really crazy week really good week though. We had a great start to the year. It's just been super chaotic. These labels are from Erin Condren. I will try and remember to find that link and because it has a weird name, but I'll put the link in the description for you. And then I'm going to skip my notes pages as well because I take notes during our leadership team meetings. So here is the September. I don't know that I got everything in here, but this is a good overview. We had our first planner club meeting, which was really fun. And we had a good start and we're finally getting into kind of a routine with that. Here's the second week of school. And I decided to over here to use this space for just like whatever. Now it's going to evolve. I'll show you that in a minute. But any paper copies, which that's not even checked off, but I did make these copies. I have a student aid though, so she's really the one who's making my copies. It's so nice. Um, but I'm using this space for just general to-dos and copies and then I'm going to switch it up and add in my Google Classroom assignments. I try to get everything in there. Um, I do make note of my students birthdays. I just note it with their first name and then I note any sporting events that are happening and if we have a pep rally because we have a different schedule on Fridays when we have a pep rally. So that kind of goes over here. Any kind of like events that don't really fit in here but that I need to note like planner club meetings or whatever. So I have 
um, just my general classroom to do's for my classes. I teach two subjects. I have three classes and then the rest of the day is for instructional coaching. So I have my two subjects that I teach. These little numbers here, if you're wondering, are the numbers in our interactive notebook. So they keep a paper notebook with their notes and then everything else is on classroom along with all of the resources, the slides, the prezies, the docs, everything else is on classroom. So I love classroom. It like changed my whole like teaching life. So here is the third week. So right here I mark with a little happy planner stickers sticker that uh, progress reports go out at the three weeks. And I just make sure that I have some things done. So we have to do um, some special ed and 504 reports. So that's what I'm noting there. Um, and then this side is like all my instructional coaching stuff or like high school events that are happening. These are meetings that we have. I like to use coffee cups for like any kind of meetings. Like at the elementary, I usually go on Wednesdays for the elementary PLC and just kind of lead that over whatever topic they want. Here's our planning club meeting. There's a little birthday. This was homecoming week, so I ordered this little sticker kit from Erin Condren in our school colors. I noted the dress up days over here. I didn't on this day because I was gone the whole day. But I like doing this when I'm gone, so I still have the plans and I can see them, but this part is blocked out. So you'll see that again when I am gone. And I just used some boxes to kind of note some important things. I worked the homecoming dance. So I like this um, using vertical washi to mark out just any white space. I like this week. It turned out real cute. So this was the end of the first six weeks. So the end of the grading period, even though it's only five weeks. And I am just noting tons of stuff down here that I need to do for... Um, the end of the six weeks, so we have to turn in our grades. I have to do those SPED and 504 reports. GT forms, I have to check those. I send them out for GT students because I'm the GT coordinator. And I wanted to start a new sheet for my standards-based grading because our current grade book doesn't allow for standards-based grading, so we have to do an alternative grade book, if that makes sense. Um, these are just like, just reminders that I wanna do we did have our first unit exam that day. And I'm liking blocking out this whole box with whatever we're doing for the PLC. I like how that looks. I spend most of my time at the high school. So if you're wondering why this column on every page is like kind of blank, that's why. This is what I wanted to talk about at the meeting. And then let's go to October. So it is um, October 5th when I'm filming this. No, this is the 12th, sorry. <laughs> I have lost all track of time. Here, this is the day that I'm filming this. So it's kind of like um, almost the three weeks. So this will be the three weeks and I need to mark that on here, but I am gonna be gone. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my stuff done for the three weeks here. This week is crazy. It's crazy, you'll see it in a minute. Okay, so this week was last week and I totally forgot. <laughs> I wrote all of my to-dos for like papers in Google Classroom on the wrong page. I think I just had it turned to this page and it just happened. So I did some vertical washi there. Um, let's see. Yeah, this was, it looks deceptively empty, but it was, it was crazy. <laughs> um, we had to reschedule this. So I just put a little rescheduled sticker over that. This was, yeah, it was a crazy week. It was a really great week. We just had this big deadline for our evaluation system and I have to go around and make sure that everyone has done what they're supposed to do. I put the pep rally over here, I think because this was getting really full, but usually I put it over here. I try to get to inbox zero by Friday, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. And then this was the current week. I guess I should say the past week because it's now Saturday. But I had a workshop this day, so I did put down my washi across the top and I still have my little plans there for my sub. I made a lot of notes this week. I'm trying to be a little more reflective with my lesson plans and kind of note things that I wanna change for the next year. And I definitely changed a lot this week. So, I mean, that's good, that's good. 
but I love this washi so much. I tried to incorporate it a little bit more. And I know this looks oh, really blank, but it was, it was crazy. I am getting my flu shot at work. We have a clinic that kind of supports our community. So I had to get my aide to go take my flu paperwork over there. We had our planner club meeting after school. So I like noting things over here that I just like, like I said, just don't really fit in anywhere specific. And I do like to put my tutorial stuff over here too, like when I'm having tutorials or detentions. So here is the next week. We have a work day and a potluck and tons of meetings, <laughs> so many meetings. And then this day, we have the district cross country meet and our school hosts it. So we're all gonna go out and watch the boys and girls run. So I will not have my afternoon classes. And then this day we have a powder puff game which is a feminist, I don't really love, but the kids like it, so uh, whatever. We also have a planner club meeting in the morning. I just didn't have room to put that over there. So I probably won't see my kids this day either. I'll only see them on Thursday, which is crazy. I have two meetings and one of them is for like a GT student. And then this is the three weeks. So Friday morning, I'm gonna be home and I'm gonna get up and do some grading and um, just get everything updated. I have this little list here for, um, we're doing a STEM challenge, which I don't know which classes are actually gonna get to do it, but we'll see. I think it's only gonna be seventh period, but that's okay. I'm also helping with the SAT administration that day, so this whole week is a wash. But I do enjoy putting a little quote over here. I kind of have done that for several weeks and I'm getting evaluated this week, flu shot. So I, I like to note ahead of time when I'm going to be gone and put the washi across the whole day just so that I remember and I make sure I get all my sub stuff ready because that is a pain in the ass. If you're a teacher, you know. Now, this is November and these are future meetings we're going to have, like a ninth grade level meeting, a 10th grade level. These are book study meetings, but these change. So that's why I leave them on post-its. And these are ones that I can lay down when I need to. I just kind of reuse them and move them to the next month. So that is what November looks like so far. I've marked off fall break. I do note things in advance when I know that they're happening. So here's my little checklist for the end of the six weeks, which is November 1st. And this is Halloween week, which we let our kids dress up for Halloween. It's kind of cute. And then this is just kind of future planning here. We've got insurance open enrollment, got some birthdays. Most of these are pretty blank. I did go ahead and lay down those progress report notes. Here's fall break. And here is December. So I will definitely do another update at the end of the semester. I did that last year and I got some good feedback on that. So if there's anything else that you want to see in my teacher lesson planner, I can't really do lesson planning because I do that on my computer in a Google Doc. But um, anything else that you're like curious about or you want me to do throughout the year, let me know down below. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say about that. And if you have any questions about this planner, Definitely leave those down below and I will have some links in the description of videos and any shops that I use in this particular planner. But um, yeah, I think that's everything. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.